Hello there guys, Boss here. Um, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to track in CS6 After Effects and how to make a simple but sick t uh, 3D text in Elements 3D. So getting started, you want to? Uh, I just made a new composition by clicking Composition in New Composition, and you want to track the camera by right clicking on the cinematic layer and clicking track camera and it should oh sorry I actually had it done since the last time I did so you wanna click track camera and it's gonna analyze the background for a while depending on how big your cinematic is uh, so meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and make the text by just right clicking new text and name it Voss no but uh, just name it to whatever you want and you can disable it because you don't need it and you want to make a new solid which you make uh, comp size if you make it comp size it will automatically turn to that I think yeah uh, so you click OK and you go to video copilot and you click element or you can just search it here um, lagging a bit sorry about that okay uh, element and you just double click it on the layer and to make the text you want to go to custom layers custom text and masks um, choose the text layer on path layer 1 and then you go to scene setup to make the actual 3D text and you just click extrude to make it 3D and you go click presets here and bevels and then there are loads of like 30 um, bevels to choose from uh, some of them are nice so my favorite one is this the gold rim and you can just uh, change whatever you want the reflection I like to have high reflection because I like the shine of it but as you see the brightness goes up really much as the intensity goes up so I'm just gonna make it darker like that looks good and if you want to change the gold rim color you can just change the reflection to blue and this to blue as well like that looks good and if you want to choose an environment just click here it's set to default at the moment you can choose like garage, shop, uh, studio, and yeah, whatever you want. Um, as you see, it changes the light uh, theme of the text, and I usually uh, pick lobby because I think it looks really good with the shine and things. So you just go ahead and click OK, and the tracker is just solving. Uh, frames or whatever it says solving camera step 2 of 2 so it's gonna go pretty fast now it's gonna be done in a few seconds so you can go ahead and highlight the track cinematic and you click the 3d camera tracker and you see all these colored uh, targets they are track targets so you wanna go to a space where you can mark many of them and where you find a good track spot so you're just gonna go ahead and hold the mouse button and just highlight all of them not all of them but many of them so to help the tracker find the good tracks and you just right click on this and you choose create null on camera and once you've done that you're gonna go find the text it usually changes spot so it's right here and you go to the black solid you can name that element to keep track of where it is and you click group 1 to edit the text um, position and stuff so right now it's way too far forth so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down to about 2300 and maybe even more but you want to change the position to the spot where you uh, highlighted the track spot like that and 
yeah that's probably okay and then you want to click particle look to scale it up because it's really small uh, so that will do and then you can click rotation here on the group one and you can rotate it at three directions uh, x y and z so that looks pretty good and now you have actually made your track it's just simple as that and you can just move it however you however you want scale it up maybe so yeah that's it for today uh hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helped you and will help you in future just come back to the tutorial if you uh, can't remember how how to do and uh, have a nice day and i'll see you next time bye